One day after sexual assault allegations surfaced against the Republican gubernatorial candidate, he says he will not back down. KETV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandur joins us live with continuing coverage. Michelle. David Alexandra, I have been trying to reach Charles Herbster for two days now, even calling his personal cell phone, but he is not returning my messages. Today, though, he took to Twitter. The Missouri businessman says he will continue to fight to be the state's top leader, and we hear from another Republican who also wants to be Nebraska's governor. Charles Herbster compares his fight to that of a Supreme Court justice who was also accused of sexual misconduct. He tweeted a photo of what he says was his view during Brett Kavanaugh's Senate confirmation hearing to the highest court in the land. Herbster tweets, little did I know, less than four years later, I would find myself in a very similar position. With me, it is not the liberal elite trying to take me down, but the establishment machine within my own party. I will not back down. I am a fighter, just like Justice Kavanaugh and President Donald J. Trump. I will fight for my character and reputation. You know, um, incredibly um, alarming, disappointing, disgusting. Herbster blames one of his opponents in his own party, Jim Pillen, and the man who endorsed him, Governor Pete Ricketts. He says Ricketts and Pillen are playing a dirty political trick with the sexual assault accusations. Pillen tells KTV Newswatch 7 he's focusing on the alleged victims. Suzanne and I's hearts go out to the young women who've been assaulted and, and uh, Holy Week, uh, you know, you think about uh, all the crosses everybody has to bear. These young women have a cross to bear that uh, they shouldn't and hopefully, uh, hopefully God's grace will help lift those a little bit and lessen it. The Nebraska Examiner uncovered the accusations, some that allegedly occurred at this Douglas County Republican Party fundraiser in 2019. Eight women claim Herbster groped them. One woman says he cornered her and kissed her. State Senator Julie Slama is the only one who has gone public. She says Herbster put his hand up her dress without her consent at that fundraiser. Slama talked about it on the legislative floor in February, but she didn't name names. Early on when I got into politics at age 22 in Nebraska, I was groped at a political event by someone who is not a member of this body and not a current or former office holder. Well, Herbster also says he plans to sue the Nebraska Examiner for that story.